what's up? Long overdue review. Been about two months since I've been on YouTube. So anyway, we got the Jackson Flow here. Small and largest should be, I think, spring of 24. But this is a cotton candy color. Pretty nice little looking color. I think my favorite would be the Torch. It also comes in that Miami Vice color as well. So real quick, just some specs on this thing. It is eight foot five, which makes it one of the shorter creek boats in its category, especially for a medium. Most mediums are around nine foot. Width is 26.75. That's a pretty standard width, I guess, for a medium sized boat. And then gallons, we have 77 gallons. That's, that's pretty small for a medium. Comparison, the medium Nirvana for Jackson is around 90 gallons, I think. So that is pretty small. Weight wise, it's 46 to about 47 pounds. Somewhere around there, it seems pretty good. It feels pretty light when I'm carrying it and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, here's the flow. Let Kristen get a couple shots of it here. So they say the paddler range is around 120 to 200. And after paddling it, I would say that's probably about right. Um, it's one of those medium boats. It actually fits in a really good category where there's not a lot of boats out right now. So you, you have this, you have the, the Z5, and you have the Flux Small Medium. Um, really not a lot of boats that kind of fit in that category. So it's a good job by Jackson to kind of fill that niche in that category. And I really think for the paddlers and the 140 to, or 130 to 170 range, it's a good boat where it doesn't feel too big, like a true medium. And it's really nimble still. All right, so starting out the bow of the boat, if you're into Jackson boats, it kind of looks the same. It's got that same kind of standard antics bow look. Not near as wide and bulbous as the Narvana. Looks really good, I think. This, the aesthetics of this boat are much more pleasing. But yeah, it's kind of, it reminds me a lot of the Antics 2.0 with the, with the bow. Nice grab handles here. Not much to say about that. It's all the standard Jackson stuff. Um, again, decent lines here. It looks good. Nothing crazy. Standard Jackson outfitting right here. It's, it's always comfortable. Comes with the bees knees, which gives you a little extra grab here in the thighs. Standard seat and everything. Easy to move back and forth. Jackson outfitting is really nice. Uh, I do like it. it's comfortable. For me, being a smaller guy, it fits good. I don't really have to do anything except putting a couple hip shims in here and I'm ready to go, which is super nice. Moving on to the stern, you got your nice grab handles here. This is good. Uh, a lot of boats nowadays come with a small grab handle. I still like how they like to put the big grab handles here in the back, even though the stern is not that big. Two little pillar indentions here to keep it nice and sturdy. Last grab will grab in here and your drain plug, which is recessed in there. So just overall plastic, it's standard kind of Jackson plastic. It's somewhat soft, but I haven't really seen a lot of Jackson's crack, at least in my experience. It's decent plastic. Um, I don't think it's like top of the line or bottom of the line. It, it's pretty good plastic overall, so I wouldn't be too worried about that if you're getting a Jackson boat. I've never had any issues. So I think the main kind of thing you need to look at on this boat, especially in comparison to a lot of the older Creek boats, so this is kind of the new style now. They're making these sterns a lot more narrow here, as you can see. A lot of the older sterns are about, you know, this big in the back and they come up all the way here. This is more kind of like in between a half slice a little bit and a creek boat. If you saw Dan Jackson, the Russell Fork, he's stern squirting this thing. It's absolutely crazy. But that's really nice because you can still kind of turn a stern pivot in a way and you can lean boof. You can get this thing up like this when you're going over boof, take a nice stroke and get some air time and get some speed coming off the drop as well. So I like this kind of new design here in the flow. It makes it a little bit more faster, nimbler, and like, like I said, easier to move, easier to maneuver in the tail. And uh, they drop a little bit of bow rocker in comparison to the Nirvana here. I can't remember the exact height, but it definitely looks a little lower, which again, it gives you a little bit more water line, a little more agility here, and kind of it just makes it more fun in the water. You're not floating over everything, but still enough to get over the stuff you want to. So as I said, the width is about 26.75. When I'm paddling this boat, I don't feel like it's too wide, but it gives it enough stability, stable, good for beginners here, but also it's not too wide for someone like myself, like I said, for maneuvering and that kind of thing. Looking at the rails, 
it's got some pretty nice rails on it in between here again good stable hull design planing hull um, but also pretty fast for what it is and how short it is and again very maneuverable thing surfs like a dream it surfs like an antics 2.0 in my opinion very good kind of play boatish creaky boatish thing here going on and the good thing about that too if you get surfed in holes you can get out a lot of creek boats they don't have this nice edge on it you won't be able to get out of a hole especially if it's full displacement very hard to get out of a hole like that with this edge it's more like a play boat and like i said you can kind of surf your way out of holes better which i much prefer but they take the rail all the way down to about right here i would say looks like it kind of tapers off right there at the end of the bow which is good when you go into those carbon those eddies that line coming all right here helps you do that same thing on the stern You're coming all the way down to about right here with about i don't know half a foot left here on the stern so really nice rails on this thing i like it a lot for how much i paddled it as you can see it's paddled a few times here plastic's not too bad just some kind of superficial scratches so there you go okay so again about 155 160 ish just getting the boat with full shoes on and basically don't have to do much besides just pull the bulkhead up here the seats in the middle i have a couple seat shims there hip shims and it's pretty much ready to go and that's kind of what i'd be like if i had dry gear on probably have to tighten it a little bit more if i had just a bathing suit on but now for some ratings here I'll start out with Downriver. I think this is like between a 8.5 and 9 for Downriver. I feel like I get in this boat and pretty much take it anywhere and have a good time. Like I said, it's small, it's agile, um, it boosts well. It does a lot of things good. It surfs really well, so you could have a good time in this thing. But also, it's big enough and it has enough bow rocker where you can get over the big holes and take it down, you know, pretty much every, any river you want to, unless you're going over some in some crazy stuff. I might want to. A little more volume if that was the case but anyway this thing for 99 percent of the people is going to do the job for pretty much any river you want to go down river on um yeah good hole punching ability it's playful down river for a creek boat and eddie's out nice got sharp nice edges so yeah 8.5 to 9 for down river i think what i really like this boat for and especially being it's shorter for a medium eight, at 8.5 is creaking. I think this thing is an awesome creek boat. It's got, again, those sharp edges where you can turn and make easy, quick turns when, it, when you're in like really shallow or uh, narrow rivers or creeks. And it's got a just enough bow rocker to get you over all the big holes, but it's not, again, not planing out over everything. Sometimes you don't want that to happen. It's got the stern here so you can accelerate easy and, and go off boost when you don't have a lot of time to get some strokes in so i think this thing is going to be an absolutely awesome creaker for myself or anybody else around my size i want to say a 9.0 for creaking or even more in some in some aspect the only thing i'm gonna worry about is just the plastic a little bit uh, again the the jackson plastic is a little soft but i think it's okay but i think if you're in some mink all the time it could take a beating but yeah, this thing is going to be a great creaker all around, and it's light too. So if you have to portage or go around, go around, you know, drops or you see it's a log jam, you have to get out and go around the river. It's pretty light, easy to carry. So in that aspect too, it's really cool for outfitting, safety, and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna give this a nine. Pretty much all the Jacksons are going to be around a nine. They have great outfitting, super adjustable, easy to move. If you're a beginner, you don't have to read manuals or look online. Unscrew a couple wing nuts here, put a couple pads in, and pull some ropes in, you're good to go. All the grab handles are solid, easy to put some carabiners on if you got in trouble. I might want to see this one be a, a bigger one, um, but even that small one is still pretty sturdy there. Got an easy pillar to step out on. It's got enough room to get your knees out if you need to get out of the boat for an entrapment hazard. All right, so appearance or styling of this, I give it like a seven to eight. It looks okay. It's still not like my favorite looking boat overall. I like the name flow, but not a huge fan of this design. I think it's kind of a little 
I don't know, distracting or something. It's not that great of a design, but that's okay. The name is cool though. Comes in cool colors. Like I said, you have Northern Lights, Miami Vice, um, the cotton candy and the torch. So pretty good color selection. It doesn't look awful up front like the Nirvana. It's okay. That's all I can say about it. It's not, it's not displeasing, but it's not my favorite boat either. Lastly, for ratings, playability, especially for a creek boat, this is a 9.5. This thing surfs awesome. It's just like, the, like I said, surfs just as good as the Antics 2.0. And I've seen some reviews out there saying it doesn't, but you, you got to factor it in weight and all that kind of stuff too. So this thing was a really good play machine, especially in the Charlotte Whitewater Center. I took it out there a couple times. Surf waves really well, 360s easy, rock spins easy, everything you want to do. You can even stern squirt this thing like if you're Dane Jackson or close to it. So really playable creek boat. It's fun, it's agile. If you're looking for, again, something sporty, but also to get you through the stuff, this is a good boat, good choice. So 9.5 for playability, which is awesome. So lastly, why would you buy a uh, Jackson Flow? I think this is a great boat. Again, they filled that niche. If you're a smaller, medium-ish paddler, this is probably the best boat out right now in that weight range, like the 130 to 160 range, where you're kind of in between a small and medium. This is kind of a smaller medium, which is super nice. Also, if you'd rather have a shorter boat and you like a more maneuverable, maneuverable creek boat, this is what you'd want to get. Again, most creek boats are about nine foot, not as agile as this, not as maneuverable. And also this is just more fun and playful than most creek boats. But again, it's still gonna get you down those class five rivers pretty easily. It's got enough bow rocker and it's just a good overall boat. It's stable, it's forgiving, but at the same time, it's really for, you could be a beginner to advanced expert. This is a good boat for everybody. They really nailed it with this boat, I think. Where can you pick up one of these things? Well, my favorite company, well, my favorite company, CKS here. Hit up Johnny Ortiz. They got them in stock. They can ship them to you. You can pick one up, whatever you need to do. They run retail $15.99. Not sure if there's any sales right now, but hit up Johnny Ortiz to take care of you. Yeah, and I uh, appreciate CKS on level six and Jackson Kayaks, of course. Check out the flow if you haven't. Get yourself a demo, buy one. You can't go wrong with this boat. See y'all later. All right, got the Jackson Flow out here. First demo rip. Put the seat one back. See how she does here at the Water Water Center. This definitely feels like a small medium. It does not feel like a big medium by any means. So I'd say if you're on the bigger side, you definitely want to wait for the large. If you're looking for like a a creek boat will take you down about anything. It does sit lower, like everybody's been saying. I actually prefer that. I don't really like a lot of volume here. I got really skinny legs, so I think it works for me, and I, th I like how you kind of sit up higher with it squished down a little bit. It has that wide kind of Jackson feeling. Bow still fairly wide out here. See how she ferries here. Feels great.
definitely got that antique feel as far as like being able to surf really well really nice hole on it I, i'm really liking the hole I'm sure will do awesome with 360 spins on rocks can't really do that here but yeah, no problem there Valley lead. Yeah, so I mean, this boat to me is everything that Narvana should have been. I don't like how big the Narvana is. There's really no need for that, honestly, in this market. Unless you're paddling some stout stuff, like, you really don't need that. This is just fine. If you use proper technique, this will probably get you over pretty much 98% of what people are paddling. It feels smaller, it's lighter on the feet, it's lighter carrying, it's the bow feels better. All around it feels like a way better boat. Skip over stuff just as good in my opinion. Very maneuverable. They really did hit a good weight range with this though. It's going to fit that small medium power like myself that typically the medium's way too big and the small is too small. It really nailed that. So if you just lean a tad bit and just take a bow stroke, this thing plows over everything. So I think one thing paddling this boat you're going to want to do since the bow rocker is a little less than what people are used to nowadays, the boats are kind of trending back towards this, not lack of bow rocker, but at least a medium sized bow rocker versus a ton of bow rocker. So if you're used to that and still want that, just move the seat back a tad, like I have this one back right now. And like I say, if you lean back just a little bit, take a little angle, nice boost stroke like right before you hit the hole, not too early. Pretty much had the same effect if you were just to battle straight and just kind of go with the flow like on a normal boat like the nirvana or whatnot i don't really have anything bad to say about this boat so far i'm at the whitewater center obviously it's not class seven or anything or whatever but it feels really good it feels confidence inspiring it's stable the hole is great for surfing i like how short it is I prefer like a slightly shorter boat, just it's more nimble and if you get off line you can correct it, especially for micro creaking and stuff like that. I think it's going to be a great niche boat, or a great boat in general. It's going to fill that, again, that small medium void that really you got the Z5, the Varus, Flux, small, medium, and I would say somewhat the RMX 76, but other than that there's really not a lot of options. So. I think a bigger person, I really think, it's just my opinion, Jax will probably disagree with me, but I think the medium on this is definitely going to max out at like 190-ish, at least for its full capabilities. And then after that, I think you're going to need a large for what most people are going to want it for. I have to see what Wade says, he's like a buck 80, 85. But yeah, it so far seems really good. I really don't have any qualms about it, I know people are making fun of the name flow all that kind of stuff but yeah good solid boat for sure a good option if you're getting into creaking i think it's going to be a great beginner boat seems super friendly and i also think for experts uh, like they said i think it's gonna do really well i i could paddle this i see myself paddling this so yeah no that's my initial thoughts on the flow obviously i want to paddle more before i do a full review but so far so good on this thing um don't think you would regret buying one like I said, you're not going to most 90-80% of the people out there. 98% of the people out there are not going to be going on the Stikine or Fancy Falls and all that stuff where you'd probably want a Nirvana. 
that really, really keeps you out of the holes and all that, most people, this is, would do just fine. So, yeah, and the also thing is, if you get stuck in a hole, I'd much rather be in this boat than a Nirvana, good gosh. I couldn't imagine getting out of a, like a ledge hole with that. These uh, edges on this boat are pretty sharp and it honestly feels like a play boat, so I feel like I can get out of a hole pretty easy.